It's no secret that athletes of all shapes and sizes spend a huge amount of time perfecting their diets and training to get themselves in peak performance shape. Sumo wrestlers are no different. They don't just eat whatever they want to get to that size. They have a strict diet and routine they follow. Here's how a sumo star really eats. Counting Calories GQ talked to Mongolian sumo wrestler Biomba Ulumbayar, who weighs in at a relatively lean 360 pounds. He says a typical day for him involves scarfing down around 4,000 calories, and while that's two or three times what you might be eating on a daily basis, it's still not a huge amount. Different wrestlers have different dietary requirements. NPR reports the typical caloric intake for a sumo wrestler is somewhere between 5,000 and 8,000 calories. Others have reported numbers as high as 10,000 or more. So what do they eat to reach those high numbers? Start with starch. Ulambayar told Grub Street that rice is a key part of the sumo wrestler diet, and they eat bowls and bowls of it at a time. Wrestlers in training use rice as a way to pack on the pounds and help give them a competitive edge. For him, udon noodles are also key. They're a big portion of his dinners, which usually also include other healthy foods like fish and salad. Try some chonko nabe. If you really want to eat like a sumo wrestler, there's one dish you have to try, chonko nabe. There's a ton of different ways you can make the hearty, healthy stew. Sometimes it's served alone, and sometimes it's served with rice or side dishes like omelets and dumplings. And while it's a pretty healthy meal, it also allows them to pack on the calories with bowl after bowl after bowl. It's been a staple of the sumo wrestler's diet since at least the 19th century, and it's such an important component of their lifestyle, it's called a legal steroid. While all wrestlers down multiple bowls, there's a clear record holder for the most eaten in a single setting. That honor goes to a man named Takuma Sugi, who downed a shocking 65 bowls featuring 29 pounds of beef, and apparently he only stopped because he was tired of chewing. That's some serious dedication. Winner Winner Chicken Dinner Chankonabe can be made with any kind of meat, including beef and fish. NPR reports there are at least 100 different versions of the stew, and while there aren't that many rules about what can go into the pot, there's one guideline that's rooted in age-old thinking. On competition days, sumo wrestlers will only eat chicken chankonabe, and it's not for nutritional reasons. It's because chickens only walk with two feet on the ground, and that's how sumo wrestlers are going to win, by keeping two feet planted squarely on the ground. Hands and feet would make four legs, and that would mean a loss. Liquids Hydration is also key to the sumo wrestler's diet because in between all that eating are some seriously grueling training sessions. Ulambayar told Grub Street one of the biggest, most important parts of his daily intake is a ton of water and plenty of green tea, and more than the occasional beer. It's absolutely crucial, too, because the champ says he typically loses between 10 and 15 pounds in sweat alone during his morning workout. Sleep After Meals Sumo wrestlers are surprisingly among the healthiest of all athletes. According to a report by the Asia-Pacific Journal of Sports and Social Science, they don't just eat to pack on the pounds. They have strategic methods of eating. One involves doing something you've probably heard you should never do if you're trying to lose weight — sleeping right after you eat. According to Slate, a sumo wrestler's massive midday lunch of chankonabe is not only made up of multiple bowls of soup, but it's also followed by a good, long nap. Skipping Breakfast in order to help keep weight on, sumo wrestlers skip breakfast, despite getting up early to train. They spend their mornings working out, eat their first massive meal around 11 a.m., and then only eat again once. That's said to help slow their metabolism and turn a lot of the calories they're consuming into weight instead of just burning it off during their intense training sessions. Basically, they do everything you're told not to do if you're trying to maintain your weight or lose some pounds. Thanks for watching! Click the mashed icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel! Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love, too!